And we scrambled to get a brand name, get a logo. We had our cousin who had worked with Adobe kind of put the uh, packaging together. We had to go get nutrition facts. We had to do all of these things that we had no idea how to do. Siete actually started out of my sister's kitchen and it started with a pack of tortillas, 10 tortillas to be exact, that were put into a Ziploc, plain old Ziploc. It probably had the Ziploc brand on it. We ended up walking up to Wheatsville Food Co-op, which is a food co-op here in Austin, Texas. We knocked on the door and asked to speak to a buyer. The buyer told us that he would taste the product back in his office and we forcefully asked him to taste it in front of us. He was pretty floored by the flavor and said if we started a business that he would put it on the shelf. So we actually did this in January of 2014. We didn't form a company until February of 2014 because at the time we didn't know this. You had to have a company in order to sell product into the store. So formed a company in February of 2014 launched the product in May of 2014. So once we got into Wheatsville, we thought, wow, all you have to do is knock on the door and they let you on the shelves as long as you have a business and insurance and a company name. So we walked into Whole Foods Market and the buyer didn't greet us. I thought what worked at one retailer would work at another. We walked in and I gave him a Ziploc bag, pack of 10 tortillas, no branding, no logo, no packaging, and I put a post-it note on there that said, hey, we're a family-owned business. We just started. We really think we should be on your shelves. I thought I'd lend myself credibility by saying that I was an attorney uh, that didn't give me any credibility. I waited like six months and never got an email back. I think I was put on a do not email back list because even when I emailed three, four, five times, um, the buyer just never got back to us. But luckily, you know, Wheatsville and Whole Foods kind of came together when a individual who was shopping at Wheatsville happened to be on a vacation where John Mackey of Whole Foods was uh, vacationing. And she told John Mackey, like, hey, I eat these tortillas and I bought them at Wheatsville. They're like paleo, vegan, made out of almonds. I think you'd like them. And we got a message on Facebook saying, we think that you'll get a call back from Whole Foods because I just told John Mackey that your tortillas exist and he was pretty excited about it. I would say a day later, um, we got an email that said, hey, we'd love to talk to you about your tortillas. And then I actually laughed with the buyer about my Ziploc and post it. And it ended up being a happy story because we ended up on the shelves of Whole Foods and we've launched numerous other products with them. I very quickly learned that what works at one retailer won't always work at the next retailer. I always thought that you know, the whole like first impression rule was silly, but in this case, um, the tortillas were judged by their lack of uh, labeling and brand. And I think that that really taught us an important lesson that we should always be putting our best foot forward um, with every interaction that we have. I think first impressions are important in relationships. And I also think that we're a very relational company. And so for us, the curation of messaging is important because every retailer and every consumer is different. And it really changed our entire outlook on how we deal with uh, retailers. So we ended up getting lucky that we finally landed on those shelves, but it definitely taught us an important uh, lesson in business.